Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to Dawn and Dreams. It is Priestess of the African River Eagle, aka Ms. Z, on this channel. If you would, make sure that you like and subscribe. Comment down below which one you chose. I'd love to read the comments. If you want to book a reading with me, please go to dawnanddreams.com. That's also where you can find courses from me. Um, you can also find my new uh, Oracle deck that just came out with for the birds. The pre-orders have sold out right now, but I do plan on opening up, um, hopefully, another pre-order this Saturday. If so, please make sure that you check back um, this Saturday and we should go for a second round. I can't promise a third round, so if you missed out on the first round, um, you should be able to get in on the second round. And shout out to everyone that has purchased um, their deck, and I'll talk more about uh, the cards a little bit later. So, this is a reading, and shout out to the person, I forgot the name, shout out to the person who said, where you been at? You know, where you at? <laughs> um, and I've been busy, y'all. That's the reason why I haven't been on here. Uh, especially with packaging and all those type of things. I've been very, very busy. Um, what did I want to say? I lost train of thought. Okay, so I actually asked the spirits, what did they want me to do a reading on today? Okay, and I don't normally ask that. I normally have what I want to ask, but today I asked them. And the reading that they came up with is, what rare gifts um, do you have? And of course, I'm focusing on like spiritual gifts. That's what they kind of want to focus on. But nonetheless, any gift, any gift that you have that is rare that you need to pay attention to um, that most people don't have, you know, people can have it, but not a lot of people have it. OK, so today um, we're going to be picking from stones and I call these ancestral stones, OK, um, because they are they come from sacred places. Um, so we have the first one where well, you can look at it as a rock too, you know, rock, rock or stone. Then the second one for pal two has a little hole in it. And then pal three. All right, so one, two, or three, just pick whichever pal we're gonna be using uh, for the Burr's Oracle deck. If you don't want to see it, you're gonna see it anyway, so you might as well keep watching. So let's go ahead and get to it. Timestamps are in the description. So for those of you who chose pile one, the first stone, of course, of those of you who really got good memory, you know that this is a river stone. Um, and so those of you who picked this pile, you do have some type of gift of healing in some type of way, okay? So let's see what rare gift the spirit wants you to pay attention to. My cards are always going to look a bit more rough <laughs> just because I use my deck every single day. That's how you really get to know a deck. You got to use it every day. All right. So, all right. So, let's see. Let's So let's see. See, <laughs> this is so crazy. Now, now y'all see, y'all watch me pull these cards now. It's the truth. Because I just told you that this is a river stone. Specifically, Yeye Oshun, uh, which is um, the mother of fresh water. And you have the water spirit, basically a water spirit. Uh, so you have the water spirits that came up, and that's just interesting to me. So you do have um, a connection. I, I was going to say that, but I just didn't want to be cliche. But you have a strong connection to the water, okay, um, and water spirits. And typically, people of the water have natural gifts of healing, and they can always attract abundance in some way, okay? Um, so you could very well have something, and it multiplies, you know, whatever you go into. People in this pile, you will have a gift when it comes to business and creative ideas you will also have skills of understanding the unknown because the water deals with the unknown nobody knows what's at the bottom of the ocean right um 
well, you know, I feel like you can still go there, right? Uh, but just not in this body. We go in our astral body. But nonetheless, getting back to the subject, you have a gift of knowing the unknown or being able to get close to the unknown, close to the creator, close to um, unknown wisdom. So people in this pile, you have a gift of knowledge, wrapping it up in one, a gift of knowledge, a gift of creation, um, a gift of fertility, okay? And I'm not saying that everybody in this pile is just rich, you know, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that you have the opportunity to do these things. You have the opportunity to have wealth in whatever you do, okay? Because you have overflowing abundance, wealth, and fertility. People in this pile, you know, some of you actually, maybe not all, but some of you will be gifted with a lot of children. And you may wonder, like, why am I having all these children? <laughs> I don't know if anybody has said that. But if you feel like, you know, you've had four or five kids... It is because of that water element that you have. If you want a lot of children, it's probably because of that, okay? Um, so let me look at some other things here besides children. And this goes for men or women, all right? So if you are a male and you have a lot of children, <laughs> that's probably why. You were blessed by the water spirit. So, But let me get back to this. All right, so some of you, it, it just depends because this one can be many different things because it says anointment for higher purpose. Uh, so some of you will have been anointed for that calling as far as spirituality goes, whether it's priest, priestess, um, you know, the different names that people go under as far as healing goes, whatever, you know, title that you associate with. Um, but there is an anointment for you. So you will have a calling to do some kind of healing work. And this was gifted to you. There's a balance between you, the sun and the moon. So masculine and feminine energies run through you. I mean, it runs through everybody, but some people can be more out of balance, okay? And this can, you know, get in the way of healing. And I want to get into it, but I don't want to, you know, call out anybody um, that I see. But I do know that... Um, in certain traditions, women have to wait till they're older to do certain healing work because they also have to heal men and things like that. They have to heal man and woman. And a man has to be comfortable enough to express whatever issues that he's going through. But that's another topic. But nonetheless, there is a very balanced energy with you. Like you don't, um, you're very serious when it comes to your work. Okay. It's not for show. It's not for play. Um, I don't think you take advantage of people. There's an anointment on you. What else? This pal, you'll come across a lot of rare things. Because of this anointment that you have, uh, this gift that you have of healing, you will be gifted a lot of rare things to accompany you. So uh, be aware of that. You may be gifted um, some sacred cards from somebody. You may be gifted... Um, some beads, you know, something to wear, maybe um, a cane like that's in this picture, a ring, um, an old Bible. It just depends on, you know, like I said, where you are in your spiritual journey. But I feel like you'll be gifted very sacred things because of this anointment, okay? And you'll just wonder kind of why you're receiving these things or why you come across these things. It's because you're supposed to have very special and old things uh, for this type of healing, okay? And you're supposed to use these things for that gift. It's supposed to help accompany you um, and to support that gift, to protect that gift. So take the things that you receive that are sacred very seriously. I also see some of you have the permission to, um, what do you call that? Be a medium for the spirits, make offerings to the spirits. Um, I don't know why that's coming up, but it's being told to me that not everybody has that kind of permission, has that kind of relationship to give offerings, you know? And that's typically what a priest or priestess does. They have a relationship with certain spirits, and it's like almost like they're granted the permission because they know what they're supposed to do and what they're not supposed to do in order to appease the spirit and not offend spirits and things like that. So I feel like you have the gift to be able to do that, to appease the spirits. And to make peace, you know, if there's flooding, you're the type of person that could make an offering to the water spirits and stop the flooding. All right. Um, if there is, um, I don't know what else I want to think of. Like if there's uh, uh, fires and things like that, I don't know, forest fires, you could probably talk to the forest spirits or you could do something to lessen that energy, something like that. You know, it sounds very crazy, but it's very real. So you have some type of um, 
relationship to where or anointment to where you could do those things when you come into your calling you'll be able to calm down certain spirits through your offerings um, even ancestors if people are dealing with you know um, affliction and things like that you could be able to do something to calm that down all right Some of you are also, now I don't know about this too much. Like I said, sometimes when I do readings, it's the first time I'm seeing this information. Just like when I see visions, a lot of things I was never aware of. It just comes to me in a vision. They're like, this is what it really is, okay? Um, so some of you have some type of experience or you have a gift of time traveling too. I see that meaning jumping, jumping in between time periods. So you've either done this before in your dream or, you know, your ancestors have shown you different things, uh, from different time periods. So that's interesting, but it's, I can't explain it. I really can't. There's some type of connection and maybe you guys can put it together. There's some type of connection where you also like time isn't a thing for you. You're almost like on a spiritual time. You're not on our time. Um, especially with the orb weaver, you're not on our time, you know, the 24 hours of the day. There's something about you that has a connection to the sun and the moon. This is the night and the day. Um, how do I say that? I think I get it now. Okay. So bear with me. There's something, some of you will be like what they call prophets a prophetess, um, seeing future events, jumping in the future to see a future event. I see that as well. Uh, there's something about you where time is kind of like, I don't know, I don't know what the, what the phrase is, where you can just kind of like, it's not an issue with you. It's, it's not an issue with you. So there's, there's a thing of time travel, but I don't know if that's, if it's literally just that, you know, if it's literally just time travel. Yes, I see you seeing into the future, but um, there's something interesting about you. I just can't put my finger on it, how to explain it. I really don't. Um, it's like sun and moon. Like there's a connection with you in the daytime and in the nighttime. And there's something with you with time. There's some special connection with you and time. Like time doesn't really matter for you. You know, of course it says you're able to do things on your own time and that's it too, but it's something really special with you when it comes to time. Uh, I don't want to say that you can stop time, but you know, maybe that's more of the, where I'm getting with this. I don't know. I have to, maybe I have to go and ask my spirits, like, what does this mean really? Because there's something with you. There's a connection with time. So I'm going to move on, but just know that there's a connection with you and time. It's almost like time doesn't matter to you because you're on some kind of spiritual time. So it's like time can stop for spirit to show you something, okay? You also have a gift of opening up different doors. You know, you have a gift of opening up doors. So you can also like channel into um, different types of, what do they call that? Rounds, rounds. Like you have a gift of going into different rounds, but I'm hearing that you need to be careful with that. Like, you know, you can open the door and have issues closing the door. So, um, you may have connections to different types of spirits. I'm going to call them spirits. Okay. Uh, different types of spirits just due to the doors that you have the ability to open. Okay. And I'm going to get one more card for this pile about what rare gifts do you have and we're moving on. Hmm. Hmm. This goes in with you being able to make offerings to powerful beings. Um, you're also able to get things from beings too. Okay. Um, but this is another thing. Interesting. I hear that when someone tries to use a deity. This is for a very few of you. You'll know what I'm talking about. When so when someone tries to use a deity or they use um, spiritual things against you, they can't because you already have a relationship with that spirit. All you have to do is ask for assistance, right? Um, so let me give you an example. That's like someone trying to send the crows uh, to do some work on me, right? 
Um, and I have a relationship with the crows. I've had that relationship since I was 14. Uh, you can't do nothing with me with crows, baby, because, you know, the crows is one of my, my family totems, you know? Um, but that's what I mean. Like, when someone tries to go and work with the spirit, they don't know that you have a relationship with that spirit. There's nothing they could do to charm them that you haven't already done. So that's an interesting thing that came up. But let me go ahead and go on to pile number two. Oh, this pile is very interesting, okay? Um, very, very interesting, just starting out. So this is pile number two. Um, okay. With the stone that you chose, like, take this with a grain of salt because it's not going to be for everybody. But some of you, you're going to know what I mean when I say this. Uh, some of you have a, a, a strong immunity to things, a strong resistance to things. And this is because in a past life, you know, I don't know exactly, you know, but you have a good past life reading. I'm going to start offering those too. Um, but there was, some of you might have got shot or stabbed. There's something to where something like put a hole in you. Um, mm. But this life, you have more of an immunity because of that previous life. But that's for some of you. Nonetheless, all of you who chose this power will have a great immunity to uh, death. Let me just say it like that. You'll have a great immunity to that, okay? Um, even if you feel like your body is weak, it's not as weak as you make it seem, you know? You're a survivor. So basically what I'm saying is some of you, I'm not no doctor, so I'm not giving no medical advice or anything like that. But some of you who may even get certain things, um, like something cancerous, you, you'll you survive it. There's there's an energy of survival with you because you didn't have it in your last life, but you got it this life. All right. So it's like you were blessed with something extra this lifetime to keep you uh, pushing through. Okay, so let's see. How to, what rare gifts do you have? Spirit, make it clear to me. It's going to do, make it clear to me. A lot of similarities in this pile to the next. Okay. Let me see. Okay. So if you're coming from pile one, a lot of things are gonna sound similar because there's healing in this pile too. If you can if you can see that, because there's like um, they're putting all of these together. They're saying it's time for your assignment. It is time for your assignment. Anointment for higher purpose. I said, what is that higher purpose? Nikki, so you have healing. Um, medicine. Being able to provide medicine. Some type of medicine. This healing, though, can go into more physical healing as well. So there might be things that you make with your hands or that you're going to do with your hands. I also see a teacher in this pile, too. So um, a lot of you are supposed to give instruction to other people. Um through the wisdom that you receive from spirit, okay? So that's about a little bit of the difference with this one. This type of healing is like I see you teaching, teaching medicine and also being able to provide medicine. And this might be another, like I said, a testament to what you've been through. So you are giving back in that way to help people heal, you know, knowing different uh, medicinal herbs and things like that. So you might get into those things later in life um, or even now, okay? Let me see. They're saying that, and this is honestly, even though I'm talking about what rare gifts you have, they're also talking about how you're not using um, any of these gifts, or I'm not going to say any of them. I'm just going to say some of them. There are some things that you need to... Uh, release like you know take it to the market bring it to everyone 
they're talking about destiny awaits. There's so many doors for you, but I feel like you don't take them seriously or you ignore the doors. Uh, so they're wanting you to more so go for things, uh, put your ideas out there. You have a lot of ideas that will actually make a lot of money for you, but you don't take them seriously in some type of sense. Yeah, this pal is like almost, um, whew, if you're already on the path, there is a lot for you to do. There's a lot for you to do, a lot more for you to do. For those of you who aren't on the path, they're telling you now, it's time. Like, stop avoiding your calling. Stop avoiding this. Like, do what you need to do to take these things out there. Mm. You will attract, um, and I don't know if this is a gift, but you have the ability to attract a lot of, you know, uh, people who are sick. <laughs> Um, people who need healing, okay? So you have to be mindful of that. Because you have an anointment over you to heal people, um, to help people, you will attract a lot of people who need the help. Um, and it can become a little bit toxic for you at times. Yeah, this is why you have awakened your gifts. Mm. You have to be real careful this pal, because I feel like, um, ooh, this pile may struggle when it comes to addictions. You may struggle when it comes to like energies and people bringing you down. Um, I feel like there's a lot of energy vampires for this pile. And you'll think, well, you know, spirit ain't protecting me. What's going on? And it's not that, you know, spirit is protecting you. Spirit is, you know, giving you answers. But you may put yourself in certain situations that you will have to pull yourself out of, you know. Um, hmm. And I see a lot of doing things on your own time. Doing things on your own time. And in this pile, it's not necessarily good because you could delay a lot of things. You could delay your calling in this pile uh, to do certain things that you need to do. Your power will heal a lot of sicknesses, a lot of poison, um, spiritually and just, you know, physically. This one can be spiritual and non-spiritual. It doesn't have to be spiritual with this power because, like I said, I see physical, um, physical action. Um, so some of you could be healing people spiritually, but a lot of you will heal people with what you do, you know, your creations. You know, um, like, let's say, for instance, I want to come out with T-shirts that have motivational things on them. That's still a form of healing. So don't limit yourself to just spiritual healing in this pile because I feel like it's a little bit of both. Um, mm -hmm. Let's get two more cards with this one. What rare gifts do you have? Oof. Didn't expect that. Yeah. Immune to poison. Yes. So you, a lot of you will have gift of medicine when it comes to like physical medicine, making medicine. Um, like I said, it could be spiritual or non-spiritual. So some of you could actually be doctors and nurses and things like that. And some of you, again, will actually teach how to cure certain things. Um, interestingly enough, too, mediumship comes up in this. Hmm. You can see people's auras. You can see what's in their energy field. So some of you will be very good at Reiki, but you don't, I feel like Reiki is just one of the terms that they call it. You know, it's, it's something probably different in different cultures. So I'm just using that term, but it could be different things in different cultures. You can see spirits around people and things that are attached to people sucking at their energy as well too. So um, at your best, when you actually, you know, get into the field, you will see that. You'll be able to see things that are attached to people's energy. Mm. So this is very interesting. This is a very deep um, way of healing. All right, let's go to pile three. Okay, so pile three. I'm just shuffling the cards, and the cards have started to come out. So I just say, whoa, you know, let, me, let me get started first. All right, so this is for pile three. Um, the first thing that comes to me with, with this uh, stone or rock is some of you have a gift of talking to people. Um, I don't know where that takes you, but there is a gift of talking to people. Okay, so let's see. What does Spirit say your gifts are? What rare gifts do you have? Yeah, 
appreciate that gift of talking that's coming up. But I don't know if I'm supposed to take all of these now. That's too many. So we're gonna flip this back over and uh, reshuffle. But even in this, I can still see it right there. I see your your gift is with the people. I'm telling you, you know, because all these cards have you know two people in them. Yeah, I was going to say water. Water again. I'm saying all that water. Cleansing. Uh, this pile two. I mean, pile three. I was saying pile two, but, you know, that's still not like pile two. So let me say pile three. Um, there's a connection to water in this pile two. I said it again. Who will? Let's see. So this is similar to the first pile a little bit. I signed up for this. Some of you aren't um, necessarily doing the things um, or all that you could be doing because um, there are people who need you to lay hands on them. And people in the South will know what I'm talking about. In America in the South, you know what I'm talking about. Lay hands on someone. Healing hands. You have healing hands in this pile? Because uh, I'm seeing physically, you know, interacting with someone, physically healing someone in, in person, you know. Uh, so some of you will have to get over your fear of people if you have one to work with people in person as well, too, because you'll be doing cleansing work just like in this picture, um, working with the water spirits to restore people's abundance and restore like their fertility. I feel like you're going to be doing work like that to restore their fertility, re restore their abundance, all those type of things. Um, hmm. People in this pile have a gift of commitment in a way. I guess that's what I want to call it because I see a commitment to a spiritual path, a very strong commitment to this. So this means that you're not easily moved like some people. Like, Because um, there's always somebody to tell you, you know, this is the way. And, you know, sheep will follow the other sheep, right? They'll be like, okay, you're right. This is the way. Let me transform myself to mold myself to whatever it is that you want me to do. You're not like that. You have a gift of stability when it comes to your path. Um, and a part of you knows that it has something to do with the soul contract. So what you're doing this lifetime is very like ingrained in your being to where people can't easily move you. Um, and that's a gift that you have. So no one can really just up and try to lead you somewhere where you don't want to go. Um, a lot of you are um, very knowledgeable, and Spirit has given you that gift too. You were born with wisdom, born with wisdom, and also you will obtain wisdom until you leave because this is an old man. So um, you will do this until old age, until you exit. Like you're going to be always learning. Um, I also feel like you're going to be learning about different religions and different cultures. You will have access to that, and you will also have access to people. Um, I feel like this pal, you should get into some traveling if you haven't, because you will have a gift of connecting to certain people, okay? Uh, people will understand you. You will understand them. There's a lot of that going on in this pal. You will study uh, certain things, certain ailments that people deal with. So this pal, you could very well be not spiritual, but still be somebody that is like a scientist. You want to learn about a lot of different things uh, connected to spirituality, connected to the wise, the unknown. So I see a lot of that too. Like, why is this person going through that? And why is the doctor not able to heal that? Like, you're, you're a person that's very, very smart and someone who is going to investigate a lot of things in your path. Hmm.
Yeah, I see that. You have a balance between like spiritual and non-spiritual. It will take you a while. Some of you will take you a while to awaken your gifts because of this. Uh, because you might not believe in a lot of different things. But, you know, it'll come eventually. Um, it'll come eventually. Like, you might doubt a lot of your gifts because you're very logical, too. But I don't think spirit, spirit wants you to be that way. Because there's evidence, even for spiritual things, if you dig, you know, you dig enough. You have the ability to charm people. Um, and I say that because you may have uh, different people who want to be with you in a certain way. I don't know where that's coming from, but that's coming up here too. That's why I said you'll have a, a good connection to people. Easy, easy to make connections. Let's get a few more cards for what rare gifts do you have? Kind of just slid out, so we'll take that one and get one more. They're trying to give me two more, but you'll be conflicted about your uh, your path. Hmm. A lot of you are really connected to source. Um, so a lot of you, I just see a little bit of difficulties with this pile. And, you know, I don't even want to say it's a bad thing. I just want to say it might just be a reflection of the things that you see. Uh, because I feel like those of you in this pile, like in your past life, you've come back from a very ancient time period. And so seeing things today, it's like, why do people act like this? Or why are there uh, murderous people? Like, you you won't have an understanding. So you're really going to try to learn about why people act the way that they do. Like, the psychology and things like that. Like, you're really going to get into that because you don't understand certain things. Um, or you do, but at the same time, it's like, why are you acting like that? Like, I see a lot of that with you. So... Um, a strong connection to primordial that's one of your rare gifts so you can feel things um, but you will like I said will have a a need to want to understand a lot of different things this could also make you mad too to where you want to get away from people because you don't understand why they act like that uh, so you just have to be aware of that but that's what I get for power three I'm gonna go ahead and close out now